Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a little break from the code and we're actually going to take a look at the debugger in NetBeans. All good IDEs usually have a debugger and what the debugger lets you do is run your program in a special mode that lets you analyze the flow and the values that the program is storing. It actually lets you do a lot more but that's going to be the focus for this video. Now you might want to pause the video for a few seconds and just look at this code. It's a simple little program with user input, how many shirts they want to buy, I calculate the cost, I calculate the tax, the total cost, and I show it to the user. Simple enough that you get what's happening. Now let's figure out how to use the debugger. Basically the debugger, you put breakpoints by clicking in the margin. And these breakpoints that make the little red square here, line breakpoints, will stop the program when it gets to that line. And then the program won't continue until you hit a certain key or two. And then you can slowly continue through the program, or if you want, you can just get the program working normal again at full speed. Um, you can't put breaks on any line. Lines where you're declaring a variable, you can try. I get the ding ding. Okay, you can't put breakpoints there, but that line I can, right? I'm not declaring a variable there. I'm just running some code. Hey, set the shirts equal to user input. I'm going to leave that breakpoint there, and now I'm going to run the program, but don't run it using run. Don't run it using this run. Run it using the debug button here. So debug project. Or it's also in the menu. Debug project. When I run it this way, you're going to see what happens. The program has started. It started here in void main. It went line 5, line 6, line 7, line 8. Then it got to our line that has our breakpoint. So it stopped. Now, when it stopped, you'll see a little debug window is opened up here, showing us variables that have values. Now, none of these variables really, I know they're zero technically, but they haven't been set. So you won't see them in here. Now, this line is waiting to complete. Now, it's supposed to pop up a window. I'm just going to check if that window's behind my NetBeans. Okay, it's not there yet. So it actually hasn't done this line yet. That's what the breakpoint does. It stopped right here. I want to go forward one line. Here's your debug buttons right here. Play would just play normal, continue on. But I want to do this. I want to say step over this line, which basically means do the line and go to the next line. This is the button we're always going to be using for now. So just step over. Now this red means it's waiting for something. And that something is, is I got to enter a number. Now where's the box? On your computer, it might be like mine. It pops up behind NetBeans when you're using the debugger. So I'm going to say that I want 53, 53 shirts. I hit OK. And now you'll see I'm now on this line. You'll also see something really interesting here in the variable window. Shirts now has an official value, integer, and it's holding 53. This is really good because when your programs get bigger and you want to know why something isn't working properly, the first thing you want to look at is, well, what are the values of the variables? Are they what you expect? Because then you'll notice, oh, wait, it's still zero? What's wrong with that? And then you know the problem is somewhere in here. Now to keep going down the program, just keep hitting step over, which by the way is F8. So you could just be hitting F8 on your keyboard. And as I step over and I go through, you see the variables and their values being shown. And they are the right values. And eventually the program will reach its end. And that's where it ends. And the debugger basically, you know, stopped running. The program has finished. And so your use of the debugger is over. Now, if you want to run the program again, but no, you don't want to analyze up here. You suspect there's a problem maybe down here. You could start your breakpoint down there. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, where you want to start it. So let's say I start debugging again. How many shirts? 34. I've got to the line here where it stopped. I step over. I step over. And maybe you say, you know what? Everything looks great. Just keep running the program, just hit play, continue. Now you don't have to hit F8 every time or that button, right? It just continues doing the program as normal. 
This is a great tool that I find is very underused by students. They call me over for help, and I say, have you run the debugger? And they go, no, so we'll run the debugger. I'm not even going to help you until you've run the debugger, so you can at least tell me where you think the problem is. Okay, this debugger is fantastic. That's basically how it works. And uh, you can actually have multiple breakpoints if you want. And really, that's it for beginner use. Okay, it's going to be a big help for us when we get to our section on conditions and loops to see what the code is doing. Thanks for watching. Have fun with that.